Welcome back for part two about Royal Caribbean's Casino Loyalty Program. In part one, I focused on the benefits and perks associated with your annual tier status. For part two, I wanted to take some time to explain the benefits that can be earned on standalone cruises and not based on a person's annual tier status. When you go on a Royal Caribbean cruise, you will begin receiving discounts for as little as 400 points earned while gambling within the casino, and free cruise offers usually begin at the 1,500 point level or 1,200 points if you use next cruise booking option, which I will discuss a little later. On my most recent cruise, which was February of 2024, on board Freedom of the Seas, the Casino Royale offerings were the following. What you need to do when in the casino is find the casino host station, and located there, there will be a sheet similar to what you see on the screen here that lays out specifically what rewards you can earn based on how many points you earn on this specific sailing. In addition to that, there'll be a second form that is at the casino host station that will list all the different QR codes for those different point tiers. And what you can do is you can scan the QR code and it'll actually bring up a list of the available sailings for that specific threshold and let you know what you're eligible for. Looking at this sheet, it's actually a little difficult to read on the screen. So what I did is I went ahead and compiled all of this information into an Excel sheet, and I'm going to post it in this video and talk about each of the different tiers and how exactly it works. What I went ahead and did is I broke it down into three different levels. There's really no specific levels. I just kind of lumped them together. And you can see on this chart, the first four, which are in yellow, are for 400 to 1200 points. And these are gonna be where you get discounts on various sailings. It's not gonna be a free complimentary room. It's going to be anywhere from $100 off to $300 off. If you look at the far column, it says the bonus award with next cruise booking. And like I said, I'll touch on next cruise booking, but basically, if you use next cruise booking to reserve a future cruise, it'll enhance or upgrade your current offer to the offering that you see in the far right column if you use next cruise booking to book a future cruise. So looking at the first tier, which was the one that gives you discount on future cruises, the lowest threshold was 400 points. If you earn 400 points on a specific sailing or this specific sailing that I was on, you get $100 off for any cruise that you want to book through Royal Caribbean. What you do is when you book the cruise, you'll list the casino offer because you'll actually get a certificate to your room before the end of the cruise that says what you earn, you know, whether it be $100 off, $200 off, $250 off, etc. And if for some reason you either didn't get the cruise certificate or you lost it, you can always access your offers on the Club Royale website and log in with your account number and last name, and it'll give you the offers that you currently have. Now, as you can see, the first tier, it's not going to blow you away with the offers. You know, it is a discount, so that's great. You can use that on any sailing. There's no limitation to that. And if you look at the bottom one, this is where you can actually potentially get a free cruise out of this threshold. You know, when you earn 1,200 points, you're eligible for $300 off. But if you did use the next cruise booking, it says it'll upgrade it to a complimentary interior stateroom on select dates. And remember when I said uh, you have those QR codes, if you were to scan the 1,200 point threshold QR code, it'll bring up the cruises that you're eligible for at that level. Once you move beyond that first tier, this is where you start getting into free comp rooms on select sailings. The first threshold was 1,500 points. And I stopped it at 3,000 points. And the reason I lumped these three together was 1,500, 2,000, and 3,000 is because if you look at the offers, it's interior stateroom, interior stateroom, and ocean view stateroom. All three of these have in parentheses that you can get a balcony or ocean on select voyages, or in the last one, a balcony stateroom on select voyages. So what this means is you're entitled to an interior or ocean view stateroom depending on your point level, but they'll actually let you get a nicer room or an upgraded room on select sailing. So maybe it's a less desirable cruise, a less desirable ship, and they have more availability. So you can actually get a better room, even though you may have only earned an interior stateroom. This is also where you start earning free play in addition to the comp room if you book through next cruise booking. My last cruise, I got $150 in free play. And the way that works is when you go to the casino and you look at your comp dollars, 
it'll actually have the free play in there and you can transfer it to a slot machine and play it. You don't have to transfer all of it. You can transfer incrementally. You know, I, I transferred $20 at a time to a slot machine. And if I didn't like that slot machine, then I'd go to the next one and transfer another $20 and played through my $150 free play that way. So for tier three, we start getting up into nicer comp rooms that are available. You have a balcony stateroom. So this could be an ocean view balcony, most likely. And you can see that it says ocean view stateroom on select voyages. So that's actually a less desirable room to most people. The reason it's in parentheses like that is because, yes, you're entitled to a balcony on specific sailings. It may be not the most desirable offerings that Royal Caribbean has, but there might be like one of their more desirable ships to where if you want to use your 4,000 point certificate, they're only going to offer you an ocean view stateroom as opposed to a balcony stateroom. And that's where that QR code will come in very handy because you can see very quickly what kind of room type you're offered at that point threshold. And then at 6,500 points, you get a balcony stateroom, but you may get a junior suite on select voyages. You may be upgraded to that based on which sailing you choose. 9,000 points, again, a junior suite, and it says balcony stateroom. So at 6,500 points, you might get a nice room. At 9,000 points, you might get a lesser room, depending on the sailings. 15,000 points, you're getting a junior suite. And then at 25,000 points, you're actually getting a grand suite, but a junior suite on select voyages. Again, it has to do with the more desirable ships, more desirable itineraries. And you just have to look at the list and see what you would get. For all of these, you actually get a decent amount of free play as well if you book using Next Cruise Booking. And one thing that I want to make sure that everybody understands is that these cruise offerings that you have earned on this specific sailing or whatever sailing you're on, these are not related to your prime offering that you get once a year if you've earned 2,500 points over the course of a year. This is a completely separate program or not, not different program, but different offerings and does not is not a prime offering. I've, I've seen lots of people in Facebook groups or online groups that think that this is their prime offerings, but this is not. Your prime offering comes out in the spring and will allow you to pick virtually any cruise you want that's seven days or less. These are very specific based on what you earned on your play on a specific cruise and are limited to what the listings are by scanning those QR codes. Okay, so real briefly, I wanted to explain exactly what next cruise booking is since it was mentioned several times in this video and next cruise booking is a program that allows guests to book their next cruise while still on board their current cruise but in addition to that you can actually book through the app up to 30 days after getting off the ship and still take advantage of next cruise uh, the program will offer many benefits it's designed to incentivize guests to plan their next vacation with Royal Caribbean it reduces the deposit amount per person. Um, when it comes to casino offers, that's where they enhance your offer and make it a little bit more enticing, whether it be onboard credit or upgrading the room type that you're being offered. And that's what it is. There's, a, there's an actual location located on the main promenade of all these ships, or you can go within the Royal Caribbean app and do a next cruise reservation yourself. And it actually doesn't require you to pick a specific cruise when you do the uh, reservation. It just has you commit with a deposit that you're going to do a future cruise. But you have a period of time where you can identify specifically which cruise you want to cruise on with that next cruise reservation. I hope this video helps to provide some clarity with regards to what you can earn or how you can earn cruises or discounts while on a current sailing with Royal Caribbean. In part one, I touched on the annual benefits. And then on part two, I wanted to focus on the individual perks that you can earn for a specific sailing. Hopefully between these two videos, it was clear enough to allow people to have a better understanding of how the casino program works and exactly how best to maximize the potential benefits that Royal Caribbean offers for its casino members. Thanks for watching the video and I'll see you guys on a future episode.